Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how we can use mesh morphing to change uh, the rib, this one, of this bracket. Uh, we want to change the thickness of the rib and we want to change the shape, so the angle that is formed by this face. To do that, uh, I have already prepared an RPF morph setup that I will describe you to understand how we can use mesh morphing. You can see that in the root of RBF morph we have enabled the uh, parallelism. I use eight chords that we have to speed up the calculation. And uh, I have defined two different uh, morphing targets. In both targets we are selecting the whole part, uh, so both in the first and in the second, so the full body. Uh, we are, are using the uh, option if select a nose overlap zoom on both of them. This uh, to tell RBF morph that we want to apply on the same mesh two different shape modification, each one controlled individually, that is easier to do, and when we want to zoom up the results. Let's see in detail what we are going to do. First, we want to change the rib thickness. To do that, we have inserted this as a morphing target, so all the nodes will be updated. Then we have the final fixed surface set, I show you. Uh, here we have all the surfaces of, of the bracket that are uh, to be preserved. To control the thickness, we uh, act on this face, I show you. Uh, by uh, prescribing an offset uh, that is a modification that uh, moves the nodes uh, with the normal direction of the uh, surface they belong to. If we put the two actions together, you can see how we are controlling the morphing problem. We have all the fixed nodes here, the controlled nodes, and we have left free to deform the surfaces that are connected to the moving face, in this case the one with the offset. Uh, as far as the second shape modification, that is uh, um, the tapering of the rib, this one, um, what we do is that we have also in this case a certain number of fixed surface that is not the same of the previous setup, so we are fixing everything but the rib itself, and we control the rib with this uh, action that is uh, um, uh, a nested RBF. So we tell RBF morph we want to control this face, but we say nothing about this, so this is the fault as in the fixed one. But we uh, use the uh, RBF built using a fixed edge here and an offset edge here. The offset operation tells that we want to have an offset and we have to specify with respect to which face we want this offset. These two um, uh, rules uh, build a, a, an RBF. Such RBF is propagated up to the tree so that the controlled face will be uh, controlled by the two curves. So this setup uh, together with this one will control uh, the overall mesh morphing problem. Now we can start the morphing uh, using the uh, morph button. Uh, this operation uh, will take uh, some time because we are we have now the CPU working on uh, but the uh, shape modifications. There we go. The computation took less than two minutes and we can see the effect of the morphing action. We can now go back and forth to see the effect of the morphing. We can also uh, zoom in to better see what's going on in this area. We uh, undo the morphing and uh, as you can see we can morph again wait a little bit to have the graphical update. We can also inspect the quality of the mesh 
that is uh, the quality of the morphed mesh is this one we can go back and we can see the quality of the original mesh as uh, you can see the number of bad cell is uh, not changed that much so uh, the overall quality is uh, uh, preserved very well before completing this tutorial, I want to recall you that this case could become parametric with respect uh, to the two shape parameters we have just introduced simply by putting uh, here on the offset value that is here. We can simply uh, turn this as a parameter like this and uh, in the, the offset edge value here. Uh, all the inputs in the tree can become parameters, but in this case, you can see uh, we have defined two shape parameters, and these two shape parameters will be uh, exposed, as you can see, to Workbench. Many thanks for your attention.